Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, I wanted to talk more about Popper's sample player response essay. He talks about his response to the game Bioshock, and I think it behoove us all to read this very carefully and to think about it and see if we can find where in this essay he answers those six questions that he talked about earlier in the chapter. And I think that if you haven't uh, read this essay already, uh, you should definitely go back and, and read it carefully on your own. And I think it'll be clearer to you uh, what is meant by a player response essay after you have done that. But I did want to bring your attention to a few key aspects of this. So remember, he's, he's going to be answering these six questions. One, what is the challenge the game poses? Two, how does the player respond to that challenge as the character? And that's going to, those two things will be the retelling of the gameplay uh, fiction. And three, what does the game allow the player to do? Four, how does the player's responses reveal his or her identity theme? Uh, five, how does the game respond to my actions? And six, how does replaying, replaying the game affect the player's interpretation? So I think he does all those things in his essay. Uh, the first paragraph, I think, is worth looking at very closely because it sets up, uh, I think, really nicely his, his entire uh, uh, response. So let's look at it. A Bioshock is neither the story of how I survived rapture, the dystopia, nor the story of what happened to me during my days in the fallen city. It is the story of what I have done there, the decision that I could not justify. The only enemy I was not able to conquer in rapture was my own guilt. And so I write about how I survived the guilt and received a measure of consolation. So you can see here, he's not writing as though he's Thauber, the author of this textbook. Instead, he's writing as though he's the protagonist in the game Bioshock. And he'll be talking about all of the things that he learned as he had these experiences in Rapture. Uh, not, you know, what, where is Rapture? What was the nature of this city? What's its past? Uh, who he is as a character and a person within this fictional world. And so that's all part of that retelling of the gameplay narrative that he talked about. And that should be, that's where you can really be creative, I think and uh, write a really good story based on your own ex subjective experiences, right? Okay, then he'll move here into the nature of the uh, challenge of the game. And so he talks here about how Bioshock presents three ways for a character's demise and one difficult task to accomplish. So what is this task that he's talking about? Uh, he talks a little bit before he gets to the main part about how he had the choice about Adam. And you'll remember that from the game. A lot of you talked about that in your, your nuggets, how you kind of presented with this moral quandary right away. Uh, you can take the Adam, which will make you more powerful, uh, or you can not take it because there seems to be some negative consequences for that. Uh, but anyway, here's the part that he really wants to talk about. So he is in here. This is right, right before the section on negotiating my guilt. And he says, I was led to Fort Frolic, a theater where I met Sander Cohn, a playwright and artist whose masterpiece was a sick fantasy. Sander's art installation project consisted of a display of four photographs of his own protégé's corpses. Uh, moving on a little bit. Uh, so Cohn, the psychopath, had just finished murdering his first protégé. He had the only key that I needed to continue my escape from Rapture, and his condition to give me the key was that I killed the three remaining protégés. Thinking that I would be able to justify the murder, I killed them all, and so Bioshock challenged me to choose a way to make sense of the murder. Uh, so you can see here how we're not so much talking about uh, a challenge as to how to win the game so much as a challenge to this uh, character's uh, sense of ethics, right, and his psychological makeup. Uh, he talks in the next section about how this decision really made him feel guilty. He tried to find ways to justify this act uh, but really couldn't reconcile it. He says here, the resulting guilt was unavoidable, and I realized that I was being challenged to deal with it. Uh, so he's, you can see how we're uh, moving into uh, sort of a psychological realm. He says, I was not ready to enjoy the impunity that rapture guarantees. Uh, I came to terms with the fact that repentance was my only option. So again, he's, he's still thinking about himself as a character in the game, uh, the decision that he made to, uh, to, to kill those people uh, to get further along in the game, and then how he can reconcile it. And the way he reconciled it was uh, to change his ways. So when he, what he means by this, uh, what change 
the the way that he changed was that instead of uh, avoiding these uh, orphans, you know, you have the option to save these orphans that you find throughout the game. Uh, he didn't do that because he was he kept getting beat by the guardians. Uh, but he decided that as a way to uh, to deal with his guilt, that he would take it upon himself to save every orphan he found uh, until he liberated them. And he would also stop all the unnecessary <laughs> thievery. And so he ends that section by saying, the limited exercise of free will that Bioshock allowed me was enough to let me leave Rapture on good terms. Uh, so there we have, uh, he talked about the challenge that the game, the game poses, how he responded to the challenge, uh, what he was allowed to do and what it was forced, you know, what, it, what just wasn't possible, right? Uh, and then uh, we're going to start getting into the parts about the identity theme. So uh, moving from the himself as a character in the game to himself as the, as the player, and what did he learn from this psychological gameplay experience? So he says, uh, he calls this fast coping. So he says, away from Rapture and outside the context of Bioshock, I have always known the value of fast and efficient coping mechanisms. My definition of psychological fortitude is not to be emotionless, but rather to have the ability to quickly cope, which is an insurance against the many contingencies of human existence and against natural reactions to unavoidable cheerless experiences. Bioshock solidified this belief. So in this section, he's really thinking about himself and his personality, his worldview, basically the type of person he is. And what did he what he learned by playing Bioshock? So he says Bioshock simulated a hit to what I believe is a sensitive spot in my psychological constitution, my moral value system. Uh, I realized that I was only doing what every other citizen of Rapture does under the same influences. And so uh, at the end here he says uh, Bio the Bioshock experiences became a reaffirmation of my fast mechanism of recovery. I am willing to accept and work with the imperfections of free will. Uh, so, you know, obviously, you're, uh, this part will be different for you, depending on what uh, what really stood out to you as one of the, the sort of the big moral dilemmas, I guess, as, as you played Bioshock. Might be the same incident he talks about, might be something different. Uh, but I think whatever you choose to talk about will will be different for each person, right? Because you you're not the same as Thauber. Uh, you have your own identity theme, and then I think will draw you to write about some different experience, perhaps, and uh, draw very different conclusions. Uh, so we still need to talk about the uh, replay, how replaying the game works, and also what, how does the game respond uh, to him as a co-narrator. And he gets into this in this section here called uh, the moral price of telling Bioshock. He says uh, Bioshock has different possible endings. Other players can make different choices. Uh, so that talks about, I think that answers these uh, questions about how, the, how does the game respond and what's allowed. Uh, he also says the Bioshock, uh, Bioshock system proves to be a very active co-narrator and its mimetic streaming of information comes in various forms. Uh, so he talks about how the, uh, the game system works. There's diaries you can listen to, there's posters and advertisements you can look at. And he says, uh, Bioshock's response to my choice of actions was both forgiving and rewarding. It responded to the choices I made later in Rapture by replacing Fontaine's guidance with Tannenbaum's help. She freed me from Fontaine's influence and led me through Rapture until I found Fontaine. And then he talks about the, the way the game ended for him. So that's he's getting into the fifth question, how did the game respond to his actions? And in the last section, we'll talk about replaying the game. So he says, after he finished playing it, he was curious about the choices he didn't make. And I'll let you read this on your own. Uh, but his plan was to go back and make uh, different choices to uh, to harvest all those orphans. But he found that even though he was intellectually curious about what would happen, he couldn't bring himself to do it. It just uh, was too traumatic for him. It was just, I guess, a line that he wouldn't cross. So I think this essay does a great job of answering these six questions. It uh, puts your, The first part is the retelling of the game narrative. It's sort of his experiences as the character. In the latter parts, he's talking about himself and the experience he had playing uh, the game and reflecting on this narrative that created and trying to learn from it uh, about himself and his own values and identity. So, again, uh, go back and read this essay closely. See if you can find where he answers uh, these six questions and also be thinking about how you're
player response would have been different, and how you'll also write something similar to this when we uh, get into these other games. Now, if you have any questions or comments or feedback for me, please don't hesitate to ask, and I uh, really look forward to reading your player responses.